I understood that I would probably never meet the kids. Artist Michael Rubino from Los Angeles was in his 30s when his marriage ended after unsuccessfully trying to start a family. In the early 90s, he decided to donate his sperm to the California Cryo Bank in hopes of helping others struggling with infertility. I said, just, just so we're clear right up front, I do want to meet them. If that's a possibility, I would love that. His request was noted, and Rubino assumed one day he'd meet one or two of his biological offspring. I figured maybe a 18 year old would show up at my door and uh, want to have coffee or something. But in 2004, a call from a mom of then six year old Aaron and three year old Leah from Massachusetts took Rubino's status from donor to biological dad sooner than he imagined. The mom and I got on the phone, they put the kids on the phone, and it was really, it was very emotional for me. Next came six year old Jake from San Diego, who was introduced to half siblings Leah and Aaron. Rubino was suddenly bio dad to three. I've been meeting like about one kid a year ever since. Meet brothers Nick and Tom from New York, Lila, Keevan, and Greg. Genevieve, Charlie, there's Nathan and Rachel. I have not met Maggie yet. As of now, there are 21 offspring genetically matched via Rubino nationwide, from Precious Marie from Hawaii to Danielle from the Cayman Islands. This is Gabe, this is Xander. Shane and Cole. Rubino makes a point of photographing each when they meet and presents them later with a portrait he paints himself. He's just like a super laid back, really nice, funny guy. Isabel works in child welfare and refers to Rubino as her bio dad. He'll give you as much of a relationship as you want. Whatever you want, he'll meet you there, but he's not going to push. He's just always said to me, like, whenever you want to talk, whatever you want, I will be there 100%. Avery's a nurse in San Francisco who visits her bio dad a couple times a year. Her mom commissioned this Marilyn Monroe painting for her birthday. Now I have my own Michael Rubino painting in my house. I wish I got his artistic abilities, which I definitely did not. <laughs> so I'm a little bummed about that. When it comes to Rubino's artistic talent. Nathan is an artist and he's again, he's one of you know, four or five artists in the family. I'm amazed by each and every one of them. It's just weird. At the beginning, it's like half my DNA is yours, but I've never met you, and here you are, and this is just crazy. Hi. In 2017, the television show Inside Edition arranged for them to meet in California, some for the first time. Mike, you really got to get some updated photos of all of them. I fall in love with all the kids immediately. Remarkably, Rubino has a great relationship with all of their families. He even went in 50-50 on a home with Jake's mom. Families, as we know nowadays, come in all shapes and sizes and colors and genders. Family is all about love and acceptance. And when you have a bunch of people, it just makes it better. For Rubino, family has been life changing. Career came first before I came first before. Now I just don't care about anything else but them. Chris Holmstrom, KCAL 9 News.